What is up UFC card fiends? By the time this video is over, I will have successfully stolen this card, this card, this card, and this card. And it will all have been done legally, no repercussions. I'm still here. They will never. But you fight. paid for them, right? Well, yeah, I paid, but I've paid much less than what they're worth. Tell me that's not theft. I'll tell you otherwise, okay? Ready to see how I did it? Because I recorded it, okay? If I got a snitch on myself, <laughs> I got all the proof, okay? Come at me, huh? Let's get into this video. Subscribe. So in order to have the most success as a thief on eBay, you must have the patience of a hunter. You must wait and wait and wait for these auctions to go down. No bidding until the final second. Then you can snipe. Wait, wait. That's why it's called sniping? Yes, Gerard. That's why it's called sniping. Sorry, yeah, go on. <laughs> One second. No more, no less. But Jay Money, can I do it three seconds? No. But Jay Money, like, I get nervous. Can I put it two seconds? No. eBay even gives you, like, an extra second and a half after. I've put in a bid when it says zero. And it goes through. Okay? Obviously, guys, this ain't rocket science, but I do want to take you through some of my recent steals that I've had on the good old eBay. Uh, and after I show you the live action, I'll let you know why I got these. And I'll also give you an idea as to how much they are worth and why I feel like they were great value purchases. Okay. Here we go, guys. First up, we got 2023 Mozart Evloev Prism Silver Auto. I caught it at that low price that you saw, 125. I know this guy had probably about five bucks up there, so I'm bidding seven dollars. Zero seconds, like I said, nothing earlier, nothing. More, nothing less, and we get it for 550. I was correct. Probably put up five bucks, forgot about it, or maybe he was watching it, and I just came in, sniped him. Here we got Bo Nickel. I had no silvers of this man, and obviously, you know, he's a rookie that's panning out. Here <laughs> I went a little overboard, but I wanted to secure it. I'd pay $12 for it, and lucky me, I get it for $125. Nobody had eyes on it, not sure why. Uh, there's no misspellings or anything like that. I lucked out, guys. Here we have Jeff Neal. This was pre his fight. Put in 11 bucks. It's a blue select out of 49 Lucky me, I get it for seven bucks with only a buck and 49 for shipping. Lastly, guys, my man, Charles Oliveira. It was at six bucks. I couldn't let it, I couldn't let it go at that. So what bit are we going to throw in here at the last second? 10.99, zero seconds. You guys saw that? I get it for 8.50. Come on, guys. This card is worth at least, you know, 20, 25. 
with shipping. I'm getting it for $13.50 straight to the PC. I don't have too much of 2023 Immaculate of Charles. This may be the first card that I get from the set. Super stoked, guys. And now let's take a look at these cards. We'll see some prices. Let's get to it. So what do we think guys could this be considered a robbery was there good value in my steals i think so like i keep mentioning a lot of this is for pc um and so as long as i know that i'm you know getting a good deal it just makes me that little bit extra happy it makes my experience feel better. I don't feel guilty over paying money that I don't have. And so that's what I'll leave you guys with. Stick to your means. Don't buy cards that you don't actually want. At the end of the day, if I get to sell them at some point and make some money, cool. But I don't plan on it. And with that, guys, I bid you all farewell. Peace.